Hi everyone, it's Bianca from The Stampin' Bee, and I have a different card for you today. This is my Halloween pumpkin card, and it's utilizing the Spooky Cat stamp set and the Spooky Night Designer Series paper. It is the same dimensions and everything as a regular card, however it's just opened a little bit different. <laughs> And I used from the Spooky Night Designer series paper all the little pumpkins so it would decorate my card. Now I went ahead and fussy cut everything and I added the little leaves using the leaf punch that's in the new holiday catalog. You don't have to fussy cut all of these pumpkins out. I know a lot of people don't like to fussy cut. They actually do match up with the Pattern Pumpkin Thinlet Dies on page um, 51 of the Holiday Catalog, and you can easily line those up in your Big Shot and cut them right on out. But me, I'm the Fussy Cut Queen. I love to do it. It's very relaxing to me. I went ahead and cut out all my little pumpkins. Um, there is more cutting out for this card once you do get everything glued down. So it, it's not that bad. They're actually very, very easy, very cute little pumpkins, and I wanted to make something with them. I couldn't come up with any ideas, and of course, searching through Pinterest, as I always do, I did find this layout. It was an older um, post that I believe another demonstrator had done a long time ago, and I really liked the layout. I really liked how the card had came out. This kind of reminds me of a card for like a little kid, like it'd be cute, you know, if you have um, kids, nieces and nephews, grandchildren who might not live close to you for Halloween, it'd be nice to send them this cute little card. These are cute little pumpkins, so I think they really like that and it kind of opens up in a fun way, so it's very, very different. One tip I can give for you for this card, since I did use a lot of the liquid glue to adhere my pumpkins down, let it dry. <laughs> For the sake of the video, I did not let it dry. I went ahead and cut it out. My paper was still kind of wet and cutting around these pumpkins, it, it wasn't too difficult, but I could feel my paper kind of warping and my pumpkins would move a little bit. So give it some time. Let your glue dry. It really does not take that long. Um, let it dry so it can harden and stiff up your paper again and then it'd be a lot easier to cut out. It won't be um, as hard or as soft as it was for me. But once you cut them all out, it just absolutely makes the card. It just really stands out. I really like this design and usually when I like a design and use it once, I have to use it more than once. So I do have um, other cards in the mix using the same design that will be coming out um, later on within the next months. I believe I have two fall themes and you know I'm going to do Christmas as well. So I really liked utilizing this set and this design layout. It was a lot of fun. So it's very easy to line everything up. It was nice and easy, especially with the photopolymer stamp for the little trick-or-treat sentiment right there. But again, I had a lot of fun with this card. So everything is on my site at thestampinbee.com, all the measurements and product information. So go ahead and visit there for anything that you need. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. So have a nice Halloween. Thanks. Bye.